particular? It is, it's first of all, very, very disturbing to see that. And the other question that I have is, Trump was interviewed on NPR yesterday. Why are we not keeping our eye on the ball here? Today, yesterday, as he keeps getting more and more places to spread this, why are we saying that something that is actively not doing that is perpetrating the same fiction? That's my question. Maybe that's why they're having staffing issues at NPR. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to move on, though. Uh, talking about um, our favorite subject, uh, Log4J. Remember that? From last year. Now, uh, here's a story from the Washington Post or an analysis. And I guess I'll, I'll direct this question to you from this headline. One month in, there aren't any huge known Log4J hacks. What's going on, Alex? I thought everything was going to fall apart. That this... Log4j was unstoppable, and, and, and it's, it's everywhere, and we're all going to see the effects of it. And honestly, it's almost two weeks into January, and i um, not really seeing much. Uh, so th that's a legitimate question. Okay, I see. I thought that was rhetorical. Yeah, look, there have been active threat actors that have uh, been trying to exploit Log4j. And, and I believe even threat actors uh, such as, you know, very well-known ransomware groups like Conti, as well as many nation states have been exploiting this out in the wild. And so there have been compromises based on...